Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and welcome to today's episode in our Go For It devotional. We are on day 64 and it's called Your Treasures and um, it's a good day. It's also, this could be a very convicting day too, so which I think is good occasionally. All right, so um, we're going to be talking about what you're what we're storing up here on earth, whether it's treasures on earth or treasures in heaven. And that's a lot to think of. I see people hopping on. So let me go ahead and we'll pray and then we will get started. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day, Lord. Thank you for this devotional and this time with my friends out there, whether they're watching live or on replay at some point in the future. I just thank you for this time that we can come together to think about you, to think about boldly living the plan that you have uniquely for each, you've created for each one of us, and, and to consider how we can do that more, how we can be unencumbered. Um, so, Lord, I just pray that you will... Um, use today's devotion to help us all think. And if we need to put things in different order, uh, realign our priorities, help us to do that too. And I pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna just start reading. And um, we are in the book of Matthew, chapter six, verses 19 to 21. And um, what it says is, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Um, really good. And I was looking at my Bible and um, there's not a, a specific note uh, about that, but I did write here, put Jesus first, rather than material things. And yeah. Okay, so as we boldly live out our God-given purposes and plans for our lives, it helps occasionally to do inward checks to look for anything that is holding us back. What we treasure might be, might hinder us from living out our purposes. Have you guys ever thought about that? The things that we treasure, the things that we love, may be holding us back from living out um, the purposes that God has for us. According to scripture, the things we treasure have a lot to say about our hearts. Matthew reminds us that we can't take our possessions with us to heaven. When we have resources, money, and power, we have to be careful not to trust in them. They can be stolen, lost, destroyed. And God reminds us that this isn't where our treasure should be. Our treasures should be stored in heaven where our hearts should be too. Isn't that good? Um, our hearts should find their treasures in Jesus, who is the greatest treasure. We can follow him and let our daily pursuits glorify him. That's something to think about. Am I, is what I'm doing daily, is that glorifying God? Um, and it might just be glorifying God in front of your family or glorifying God in front of your coworkers, you know, just in your regular life. We can use our God-given talents for his glory. These treasures can be stored in heaven where nothing can break in and steal, and moths cannot destroy. So, she went straight to the point in today's um, devotional, and it's definitely something to think about. Uh, what, what pops into my mind is this song that talks about um, anything that we can't stop thinking about is an idol or can be an idol. Um, I will look for that song and see if I can find a, a YouTube link to it and post it here in uh, 
the comments because what we're thinking about, what is so important to us, what we can't stop thinking about, that is generally something that we're putting above our Heavenly Father and He doesn't want us to do that. Um, so, anyways, let me go ahead and read the Go For It and then we'll pray and we'll be finished for today. Tomorrow, um, number 65 is our worst enemy. Ooh, oh gosh, <laughs> this is an intense one. This is from Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Ooh, that's an intense verse. Anyways, okay, so back to 64. In the Go For It, the author of this devotional says, if you aren't sure where to start, you can begin simply by taking a look inward and seeing if, uh, if and how you need a change. Instead of living a life of overabundance, we can live generously, giving to those in need with a pure heart and pure intentions. Check your heart and its desires. What can you do today to redirect your desires so that they honor God? Isn't that good? Um, yeah, it's really good. Anyways, I'm going to put, when I'm all finished here, I'm going to put a link for this book in the comments. I'm also going to put a link to my YouTube playlist for this devotional in the comments in case you want to go back and catch up or re-watch something. And I'll also put a link in case you're in the market for a Bible to an online Bible store where you can get Life Application Study Bibles, which is what mine is. Mine happens to be an NIV translation, but anyways, I love these Life Application Study Bibles. They have such good notes that just give you a context that maybe you couldn't find on your own. So um, I'll put those in the comments when I'm all finished. Uh, don't hesitate to sprinkle or ask questions. And let me pray and we will be finished with this very short devotional for today. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for reminding us that where our treasure is, there our heart is also. And also thank you for reminding us that our hearts need to be focused on you and how we can glorify you in our lives, in the actions that we're doing, in our interactions with the people in our lives. I just, I praise you. I love you. I pray that this is an encouragement. I pray that, um, I know for myself, I will be thinking about this today. I pray it will be um, something that the people watching now and in the future on replay, we'll um, give some thought to as well and that they will be encouraged. I just uh, pray all of this in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okie dokie. Well, that was about the quickest one that we've ever had. <laughs> but anyways, I hope it was a blessing to you. I'm working on some fun crafts for later a flower craft. So if you like to craft, come back here to DIY Dreaming and we're going to make some flowers out of sheet music and it should be fun. Okay, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later.